The agreement signed in Doha between the U.S. and the Afghan Taliban paves the way for the United States to gradually extract itself from its longest war. In return for the withdrawal of all foreign troops within 14 months, the Taliban agreed to prevent groups like al-Qaeda and ISIL from operating in the country. A historic deal, no doubt, but still well short of a full peace agreement. But we're just at the beginning. Furthering the cause of peace will require serious work and sacrifice by all sides. The United States, the coalition, the Taliban, the Afghan government, other Afghan leaders, and the Afghan people themselves to maintain the momentum needed to reach a comprehensive, inclusive, and durable peace. The Taliban say they are committed. We are committed to this agreement to enforce it. Also, we want, as a political force, to maintain with its neighbors, regional countries, and international community, we want a positive relationship with all. The next step will be intra-Afghan peace negotiations between the Taliban and the Afghan government. While the government can claim the support of the majority of Afghans, mostly living in urban areas, the Taliban has continued to extend its territorial gains over large areas of the countryside. Many Afghans worry that gives the Taliban strong bargaining power with the Afghan government when it comes to issues like women's rights and democracy. Afghans are optimistic of, of the fact that uh, peace is probably finally is going to come to Afghanistan. But at the same time, we have big concerns. Uh, the concerns are that the uh, Taliban are a group that they would probably want to have a totalitarian system in Afghanistan in place again. And that is not something that the new generation will accept. There are also concerns that neighboring countries will vie harder for influence, a concern shared by some Taliban factions that don't support the agreement and intend to continue fighting. The reason we don't support the deal in Qatar is because Pakistan is directly involved to secure 100 percent of their interests in Afghanistan. So a basic roadmap has been agreed, though the road to a potential full peace deal will likely be long and difficult. Jack Barton, CGTN, Kabul.